For figure 9.4, we're taking a look at Arturia's Profit 5 instrument again, but specifically looking at the Profit VS emulation uh, vector synthesis. And the vector synthesis refers to the fact that we have these four quadrants of this mixer, and each of those quadrants represents a different uh, waveform from one of these different uh, wavetables. So oscillator A falls on the left side, B up top, C on the right, and D down on the bottom. Changing these waveforms is as simple as just going, uh, clicking with a mouse right next to uh, the name of the oscillator, and while you're holding the mouse down, scrolling it up and down. Uh, it, again, as is common with most wavetable instruments, the waves that are adjacent to each other are most similar so that if you introduce a kind of morphing shift uh, up and down, it'll it'll be a, a logical shift in timbre. Um, what we can look at here is w if I just select A and hold down a note, we can hear the uh, the change happening as I go through these. All right, I've got that frequency up pretty high here. It's two octaves above the root note. And then if we take that to uh, align it with B, where I've got that down an octave, down two octaves actually. Introduce a little detuning there. Slide it over to bring C into the equation. And then there's D. So this would be combining all four of those together. Then we could create patterns where that's shifting over time and creating a more dynamic, uh, dynamic patch. So this is a different way of implementing uh, four different wave tables that we can blend together and then have dynamic control over it in real time.